Hey, how's it going? This is Tyler with Raxofish. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have another fish update. Thank you so much for checking out the video and let's get right into it. The first update for today's video will be on Neptune. As you guys know, it's been about 4 months of trying to get him to heal up. His back then looked pretty bad and nothing seemed to be working at all. That was until the last video when we rescaped the tank and now he's been looking amazing. He's been finally healing up and you can see all the growth on his back fin now. It's so awesome to see him finally healing up and doing a lot better. If you guys don't remember from the last video, we ended up rescaping the tank. We took out the aquarium plant and added in beta plants and added in some toys and ever since then he's been doing awesome. I really want to say thanks again to you guys for commenting, supporting, and helping Neptune get better. Have you guys ever dealt with anything like this with your fish? Let me know in the comments below. And the next update is on our baby guppies. I still haven't split up the males and females because they're too small and can fit through the holes in the center, but for now we're going to be moving the tank. I got some water out of the tank and then moved it to the new rack. And now that we moved the tank, we gotta switch out the air pumps so we can add in an extra sponge filter. I already cleared out a spot for us, so let's get that put in. Now that looks a lot better. The next update is on the 30 gallon tank. While I was doing a water change this week, I got the tank cleaned up a little bit. This needs to be done every so often so you can get the mineral build up off the top of the tank and get the tank looking a lot better. Other than that though, all the fishing have been doing absolutely great. While I was doing my water changes this week, I got the 2.5 gallon cleaned up as well. I would love to use this tank solely for growing plants down the road. And the next update after that is on the molly tank. They've been all doing really good, but as you can see here, some of the rocks got some black algae buildup. My guess is that the light has turned up too high, but let's get this cleaned up. It was a little gross and took a little bit of effort, but the tank was looking a lot better after that. You can see that cleaning those rocks really made a huge difference. You can see the fish are begging for food, but once they calm down like this, the tank is really chill. And the last update for this video will be on that 6 gallon curve tank. It's been a few weeks since we put the ender in here, but he's been going after some of the other fish as you can see here. And as much as it sucks, I ended up bringing him into my local fish store. But after that, the tank was a lot more calm. This can happen with tank mates, but you just gotta do what's right for the fish. That's pretty much all the updates that we have for this video, but there's one other thing I want to mention. Me and my older brother are actually in the process of setting up our own Etsy account. And we'll have some stuff posted soon, so keep your eye out. My brother's been working on some really beautiful handmade wire wrap jewelry and I've been working on some preserved moss art with shadow boxes and different stuff like that. I'm excited about this so let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Thanks so much for watching the video and thanks for all the support on the channel. I really hope you guys enjoy and I'll catch you guys next Sunday.